this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is my journey into data science where we talk to distinguished people working in the field, talk to them about their transition, hiring process and their advice to fellow data science aspirants. And today we have with us Sirish Gupta who is the head of data science and partnerships at NBFC Loan to Grow. He has close to seven years of experience and he has worked for retail, insurance, banking and pharmaceutical domains in India, US and South Korea. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Coming to the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? So I'm the head of data science and partnership at uh, NBFC called Loan Pro. My day-to-day -day activities are different. We do, uh, we create their small team and uh, I oversee their work and also do hands-on coding. But primarily we work on different kinds of problems, to be risk development, to be marketing, retail, uh, fraud analysis. We do a couple of uh, things uh, end to end. Uh, so as to onboard the correct customers, to find the correct customers, to detect whether the customer is trying to fraud or, go, or about to go bad, or just to do a cross sell, upsell into various different categories. Let's talk about your journey into data science. So I am a, I actually mentioned I'm a bachelor and master in economics uh, mm -hmm. from one of the colleges in Delhi. Um, so I joined uh, one of my, the previous organization because they were the biggest consulting organizations. So I joined them as a data scientist right through the college. And since then I have been uh, working as a core data scientist throughout. Uh, so the journey has been very, uh, what you call it, it's, it's very, very different because um, so today what we understand as a data scientist is like a techie guy who has like a computer science in a degree and who knows all the languages and who can code beautifully. In our times, and I was going to say seven years back, it was not like that. We used to have all stats and economist guy. So that time, data science was all about stats and economist, econometrics, that's the subject of economics. So we used to create such statistical models and we used to first create it in pen and paper. And mine really we used to create it in pen and paper and then we used to code it into different languages. And that time our Python, that was not very popular. We used to first, uh, we started working on a, uh, on a language called SAS. A lot of people don't really know it also now these days. But it's one of the most, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, fraud proof or risk proof uh, languages that I ever worked with. So the journey has been very, very diff different from a person who's coming right now. Because um, now a lot of folks already know coding. Whatever I have learned or we generally used to learn is from the job. We used to learn coding from scratch. Uh, we used to apply different algorithms from scratch. Uh, we used to actually create those libraries that we generally now are very openly use in Python. We actually used to create those uh, functions by scratch in SAS and uh, like that. Lastly, what advice would you give to today's data science aspirants? Today, the ML industry or this whole data science community is filled with different and very complex algorithms like uh, CNN, RNN, or like uh, Bayesian or whatever. But a lot of times what the aspirants do is they try to directly jump to this deep learning and this convoluted neural networks or uh, RNNs and they forget that the key concept is actually the stats and math behind it, right? So if you directly jump into something which is very complex and you do not understand the uh, simple nitty-gritties about what the stats was, what the math was, why was it actually happened, then it's, it's the wrong thing. So I would, I would advise all the aspirants is to start slow and start from the beginning. Start from a normal statistical algorithm, make that as your base. Start with a simple linear logistic regression, start a simple regression or classification analysis. Once you understand, once you understand that, go and move to a little bit complex with Zanum Forest or GBM or HGP. Once you are able to understand those, then move to any of these uh, new networks. Thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.